Hello and welcome to another Fresh Off the Stalls and cheers, cheers. Cheers. We are here at the St. James Theatre to watch, well we have watched, The Stripper. And we have the, the St. James Theatre's signature cocktails, which is the Kelly's Kit no, um, what was the name of the character? <laughs> the Keller's Kiss. Mm, kissy? Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's try it. Let's let's review cocktails. That's all right. Yeah. I think what do you would say? It's um, grenadine. Anyway, we're drink. We drink. We're not, we're not here to review drinks. Yeah. We, no, but we are going to drink them. Mm. Anyway, um, I have a confession. Mm. I have a dirty secret. After that all, doesn't seem surprising. No, it doesn't seem surprising. So, seeing as we went being to see the stripper, I decided that for the stripper, I will wear my kinkiest underwear. So, and I'm sure, and I'm sure you can see this. It's the kinkiest. Good lord! It's got zips down the side. Well, oh. zips don't lie. The zips don't lie. No, um, and they're being damn uncomfortable for the entire thing. So you get to see them, just so I could share the spite. Anyway, <laughs> the stripper. Let's get on with it. Yeah. Um, these yeah. are good cocktails. I think we might drink some more. Mm. Um, so this is a musical by the same sort of creators behind the Rocky Horror Show. Yeah. So, Richard, uh, so it is the book by Carter Brown, music by Richard Hartley, and lyrics by Richard O'Brien. And, oh, uh, well, oh, actually, should we play a game as well? All right. Let's see how many uh, sexual innuendos, because it's the stripper, mm. let's see how many sexual innuendos we can fit into what we're saying. Fit in, so, really. fit, fit, yeah, there's one, one for me. It's a, it's a game, you see. Um, so, yes, um, your fault, you start first. Um, well, you can tell that it's the same sort of creatives as involved in Rocky Horror. It has a lot of the same elements and that mm. makes it a lot of fun. Um, yeah, the vibe's a little bit surprising because it's, it's, a, it's a whodunit, which is not what you'd expect from something called The Stripper, though it does say it on the program, so mm -hmm. that helped. Um, it's set in the 60s, though some of the music sounds like it's more from the big band era. Mm. Um, not a bad thing. Um, enjoy so, it. Nice, nice big brassy sounds. Big brassy. Big brassy tromboni, yes. tromboner. With huge, huge bells. Huge bells, yes. Huge, yep. Yeah, uh, got a good line, nice big, huge bell. Um, yeah, I would have to agree with you. The thing is with this, um, it's marketed it's from the creators of the Rocky Horror Show, and it is, um, but it's... It's sh you shouldn't expect a Rocky Horror Show. There's some kind of like there's definitely a signature sound to a lot of the songs. There's a signature sound. Um, there's, there's some of the elements of camp that you get yeah. in Rocky Horror. But it's it's quite different. I, I, if you put this against the Rocky Horror Show or even Shock Treatment, which was on at the King's Head recently, it's kind of different. It's very different. Um, and it kind of works. Oh, it really? Works. Overall, it works. I think I think it worked really well. Um, so it's a bit sexy, it's quite sassy, and it's also a little bit silly. Um, and this is my main complaint, not really complaint, my main criticism, um, the main hard bit, Yeah. Yes. Um, is that, and you kind of already touched on this, it's a bit confused at points, kind of, Overall, it doesn't quite know if it's going to pitch itself as some sort of noir musical whodunit or some sort of campy thing. And it kind of rocks back and forth between them. Um, so it doesn't have... It's a bit unsure about it. And there's some, some numbers as well, like the act one closer. I think it was called Hard On. That's actually... It was called Man of Steel. Man of Steel. Um, he talks about his erect penis a lot, though. He does. He does. Well, and not in terms of euphemism. No, just... Out, out, we didn't get out with it. That would have had the show closed. No. <laughs> but yeah, it, 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 it was... It, it stuck out like a sore thumb, because it kind of went from... Really? St stuck out. Stuck out a lot. Um... Yes, um, I can see why he was cast. Anyway, <laughs> from the side. Uh, so yeah, it was, um, I think it's the only thing with it. It kind of, it doesn't have an identity. The musical eras are all over the place. We go from yeah. sort of 40s to 60s to 50s, even though it's set in the 60s. Um, but I think overall, it's a lot of fun. Even though it doesn't quite know where it is, um, it's great. Um, I think it was great to bring Benji on board as director, and I'm not just saying this because I went to university with him. And actually, you can watch my interview with him um, when he was directing Shock Treatment. I'll probably do a video inlay over your face. Yeah. There's the video. It's his face. 
Click it. Click it now. Click my face. Click his face. Put your click in his face. <laughs> um, because he kind of... Benji's a very playful uh, director and kind of has a sort of very twisted sense of humour and kind of brings out those wonderful sort of off-kilter camp moments in this yeah. really well. And it just, he pushes the energy and he pushes the fun and it really... He pushes it really hard. He pushes it very hard. Uh, and that's what really rubs off. Um, I should have a score counter in my corner as <laughs> he was winning, probably me. Um, and it really, it, it really rubs off quite well onto things. And also a brilliant production. And I was kind of wondering how are you going to do a sort of a big musical in the St. James, uh, uh, St. James studio space? And uh, with, a, with a lot of glitter, glimmer, and a decent set, which was built, yeah. uh, designed, sorry, by Tim Shortall. Yeah, you've got to say as well that in such a constrained space, some excellent choreography work. To yes, make it work. I remember right at the start you said like, oh, I don't think, because that's you, really, uh, I don't think there's going to be much singing and dancing hard kicks and stuff. And there was. I um, am, I, after all, from the north. He is from the north. Um, so, I, the choreographer, uh, where, where is she? Where is she? Um, she's here somewhere. To the side. Uh, no, that's the cast. We want choreography. We've got the assistant choreography. Um, Movement director, I'm assuming, Lucy yeah. Pankhurst, because it's here. Um, brilliant. Makes such fantastic use of such a limited space. It might be a tiny stage, but it is all singing, it is all dancing, and it is just exuberant. Um, and we should probably get on to the cast before we go downstairs Indeed. and join the parquet and finish and have some more of these all lovely. These. They're very lovely. I thoroughly recommend it to all theatre goes. I've got to say, um, Gloria Onitiri. Amazing, Fantastic. stunning voice, stunning presence as well. Absolutely. She just absolutely uh, makes a show. I've got to mention the rest of the cast as well. It's about, what, 15 odd characters most? Yes. And it's done by five, five people. So you just think like, uh, oh, that's, that's it, there aren't any more. <laughs> they do it really well. And they really, they really feed off each other and the audience. It's not something, but it's not, a, it's not a very stale show where you sit there and you watch it. You're kind of involved. You're, there's a lot of knowing winks to you as well. Anyone you'd like to pick out? Oh, I think Michael Steen as, as the sheriff and as Jacob Arkwright and Steve Loomis in some of his numbers were amazing. Yeah, another great, actually all great singers. I mean, we can't, uh, Hannah Grover as well had some absolute yeah. belting songs. So uh, some excellent accents going on. But yeah, I think from, from East Coast to Midwest to Mexican, with a little bit of French. Yeah, <laughs> French can. It's fine, it's fun. Um, yes, uh, and Michael Seaton, I think, is a great comic actor. Um, and I think it's, it's a, real, uh, a real pleasure to have him on board. Yes. yes I, on yeah. show, you could have gone with. I'd rather him get on board. He would. Yes, he really would. Anyway, and my final comment. It's called The Stripper, and there's actual stripping! Hooray! Because I remember we went to see a show called Burlesque a few years back, and there was very little burlesque. It was, it was also terrible. <laughs> but it wasn't terrible, terrible, but so yeah, it didn't have any burlesque. It didn't this, have any. However, does have this, stripping. This have stripping. And again. done very well. Boobies! Actual boobies. Actual boobies. Which is obviously why we're here. Yeah. We love boobies. Boobies. <laughs> I, I need more drinks. We made the lady at the front desk laugh, it's fine. Uh, so, um, we're going to do something which you've not done on the Fresh Off the Stalls before. We're going to give it star ratings from each of us, and we've not discussed this before. Uh, we've not discussed what we're going to give. So, Ian, you are my guest, so you go with yours. I would like to give it a four. I would also like to give it a four. It's a lot of good fun. It's not perfect. It's a bit in places, but not so much that you lose that sense of sexy sassy joy that's going to be the tagline sexy, i'm saying sexy, se joy. sexy sexy joy which is, it explains it someone i knew from school she is sexy and she's sassy hi joy um she now sells makeup and very good makeup <laughs> that's going to be another she's link over my face isn't yeah, there link, link to joy's makeup uh but yeah the stripper is really good fun don't expect rocky horror expect something different but still it, there's so there's a lot of comic crazy Fun verb, and it's a great night out. And good, good cocktails. Yeah, good cocktails. I think we'll leave it there. I let's can't drink some more. Let's drink some more. Let's go join. Um, let's go join Sue Pollard at the cast party. She's actually here. I'm, I'm quite excited. Drop. Yes, yes. Blah 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 blah. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, it didn't work. Okay. Manual. Bye.